Hey guys, it's Reese from Tunezilla. Uh, today I want to talk about a new product they're releasing, the PowerMax 2260S for the 1.8s. We've had three development cars going at once and they all have a slightly different setup. Uh, so this is for the MPI system. One combination would be the 980cc injectors with an RS3 pump and a RS3 uh, fuel pump controller. And then the co second combination would be 980cc injectors with a Hellcat pump, uh, like a 525 or a 535 with the stock 1.8 controller. And then the third combination would be the uh, Bosch 925cc injectors with the EQT brushless pump kit. Different ways of doing it, they all get the same results. Uh, so on 93 octane, the car will make roughly around 342 uh, foot-pounds of torque to the wheels and 363 wheel horsepower. We do flex fuel as well. So uh, we saw roughly around on E55, 386 foot-pounds and 419 wheel horsepower. With our flex fuel, um, obviously the car is fully like adjustable in terms of like how much ethanol content you have. So like if you have E30, uh, the power is going to be a little bit lower than the full power that you would get from E55 and then it will go in like 10% increments from there until we get to E55. The reason that it doesn't make any more power above E55 is purely because if we push any further, you are really risking the reliability of the internals. 419 wheel horsepower is a lot for a 1.8. They're not as strong as the two liters. They have higher compression. So to release a tune that's this hot, we really didn't see any need to have any more power above E55. So it doesn't mean you can't put in e, like full E85 or even E100, you just will not gain any more power. Also uh, included with our tune will be uh, the added features that we offer. So we offer map switching. So for map switching, the way that I would see this scenario working for a customer would be if you really are planning to do maybe a long road trip and you don't want to put expensive gas in it, you could potentially switch to a lower boost level and run either 91 octane or 87 if you really wanted to. So that is a nice added bonus uh, if you own a manual car there'd be launch control as well uh, obviously DSGs have launch control but uh, the, the I kind of want to talk about the launch control for the manuals a little bit more as you may have seen in our little teaser clip that it's quite rowdy for the manuals um, and it's user adjustable in terms of the RPM that you want to launch at so the tune is available now you will have to create a ticket and let the sales team know which hardware combination that you have and then the calibrators will respond with a tune file we spent quite a long time on this tune and we're really, really happy with the results. The, the power is super impressive. The cars are, well, this one in particular is actually quite scary to drive. Uh, and we're happy to release this tune and share it with everyone. We're super excited. Uh, we spent uh, a lot of time on not just like peak numbers, but the drivability and making sure that the flex fuel works and you know, the customers don't have a you know, bad experience with any kind of weird limp modes. Uh, so if you are interested in any more information on the hardware that's required for this or the hardware that we've used or the beta cars have, have used, uh, check out our website which is tunezilla.com.